Bwana Yesu asifiwe. In the book of Isaiah chapter number 41. Katika kitabu cha Isaya sura ya 41. That's where we start. Hapo ndio tunaanza. Uh, Isaiah chapter 41 verse uh, 10 to 15. Kusoka mstari wa kwanza mpaka wa 10:15. Blessed be the name of Inalabu the Lord. Inalabwana litukuzwe. Verse 10 to 15. Kutoka mstari wa 10 mpaka 15. Let's read it together. Tukasome pamoja. Fear not for I am with you. Be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all those who are incensed against you shall be ashamed and disgraced. They shall be as nothing, and those who strive with you shall perish. You shall seek them and not find them. Those who contended with you, those who war against you, shall be as nothing, as non-existent thing. For I, the Lord your God, will hold you right, you hold your right hand, saying to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, you warm Jacob, you men of Israel, I will help you, says the Lord and your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Behold, I will make you into a new threshing sledge with the sharp teeth. You shall thresh the mountain and beat them small and make the hills like chaff. Looking at that passage, three places the Lord repeats, I will help you. So this is the year actually where the Lord wants to help us. He says, I will help you you. And therefore he says, fear not because I will help you. Be not be dismayed because I will help you. Be not be discouraged because I will help you. He says, I will uphold you with my right hand I will uphold you. Be not be dismayed. I will help you. And he says, look. Or behold. Behold. What I'm going to do. I'm going to turn you around. That I will give you teeth. Which will be so sharp. Like a sledge. Not for wheat. But for mountains. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So I don't want you to forget. God says he will help me. Now look at your neighbor. Tell the neighbor. Don't pity me. God will help me. You know, sometimes you come to church and you look at someone. You look at their shoes. You sympathize. Please don't. Because God will help me. Where I come from, there is something we say, dry masses. We say something that is called dry uh, um, don't have that dry mercy upon me. Because God will help me. No wonder God says, Where Yeah. You never read that. That's what it says in Isaiah 41 15. Thou warm. Helpless. Good for nothing. Useless. Kehunyo goes around and doesn't know the direction. But God says, with me not knowing direction, with me not know, becoming useless, God will help me. And I'm telling you, if there is a kegunyo that God will help, I want to be that kegunyo that God wants to help. Because if God helps me, I will become a butterfly. I will be the beauty that God wants to bring around. 
Greet your neighbor. Salimia jirani Tell them again, neighbor. Mwambie jirani, jirani. Thanyo mu. Arehema mbayo yekauka. Blessed be the name Stay of the Lord. With it. The Lord wants to help me. The Lord wants to do what? To help me. Financially, the Lord wants to do what? To help me. In my sickness, the Lord wants to do that. To help me. In my poverty, the Lord wants to do what? To help me. With my children, the Lord wants to do what? To help me. In my married life, the Lord wants to do what? To help me. In my business, the Lord wants to do what? To help me. Deliverance Church, the Lord wants to do what? To help us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. I like that. Knowing that God will help. 2023 was good. But this year will be better because the Lord will help me. If there is a well that I have not dug, the Lord will help me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In the book of Mark, this is where my text is. The book of Mark, chapter number 11, verse 23. You see, we are talking about mountain. The Bible says, if anyone says to this mountain, Yani, you look at the mountain, you tell it, we mulima. You mountain, and, uh, go and throw yourself. Oh, I like that. Go and throw yourself. And ukajitupe. Satan, we are telling you, Shetani, you will uh, si you'll kill yourself. Uh, that's what that one is saying. Uh, Thou mountain, wewe mlima, go kill yourself. Enda go destroy yourself. Enda In other words, whatever yine. plans the devil has been planning for us, what, uh, in that camp, Katika we are declaring hema. confusion. Wachinjane, uh, peoples you wane, let them kill zimalizane. one another. Let them destroy one Say another. Hi to your neighbor and tell them. God wants to help you. Uh, Go throw yourself into the sea. Go, uh, enda but bahari. the second line is important. That person who orders the mountain and does not doubt in his heart but believes that those things he says will happen or those things that he, he believes those things he says will be done he will have whatever he says greet your neighbor tell them neighbor that mouth of yours is very strong use it very well you know you are sitting you are sitting with somebody and they are very powerful uh, to tell him, go and kill yourself. Because God is going to help me. Uh, I pray that those two demons, those two mountains that have been running after you, <laughs> even <laughs> as I share, <laughs> confusion will be with them <laughs> in the mighty name <laughs> of Jesus. <laughs> but <laughs> believes in his heart, <laughs> it shall be done. <laughs> now, don't you think that statement, if you heard it for the first time, first of all, you would think either God, when he said so, he wasn't serious. Because how can you talk to a mountain? But as believers, we know anything that has a name Anything that Adam named, anything that Adam called it something, it has ears and it can hear. On Thursday, I visited family friends. And their small child, about three and some years, or four. We had him talking. Actually, he was talking. 
Then we ask each other, anaongea na nani? Tukauliza, who is he talking with? So we ask him, who are you talking to? Unaongea na nani? And the boy says, Gugu. Kijana akasema naongea na Gugu. He has a toy that he has called Gugu. He is wrestling with that katoe. Hardly, hardly two inches. And he's talking to it. And rolling with it. And the conversation was hot. Now children are good. Because children talk with anything. Because I think children are spiritual. They only become carnal as they grow old. Because for you to talk to a mountain, you will ask yourself, am I okay? Did you know until recently, in our days, zetu, if we saw you talking on the road, tukiona, kwenye barabara, we would look for a psychiatrist to come and help you. Ya kuje but now when you talk on the road, siku kwa barabara, we look whether you have a gadget in your ear. If we see people in the car and they are talking, Tukiona watu kwenye gari na wanaongea, we know they are on a speakerphone. Ya kwa kwa speakerphone. But those days, if we saw you speaking in the car, Lakini siku zile, tukiona ukiongea kwenye we gari, would call a psychiatrist to come and check you. Wa kuja because kuangalia. we think something is wrong with you. Kwa kuna kitu but sawa. today, Lakini leo, you go singing, ukiiba, you go talking, unaenda ukiongea, but now the biggest problem is this. You would rather talk. You would rather sing. But you don't address the issues that are before you. And the Bible is telling us that you can say to the mountain, go through yourself. But when this thing comes to us, and I know some of you are going to identify anything that we cannot handle, and the Bible tells us we can do it, we become so spiritual and say, and we say, this is a spiritual uh, mountain. It is not a mountain, but a spiritual mountain. Ati hiyo siyo mulima ni kamulima ya kiroho. Hiyo, milima ya kiroho diyo tunabiyo tunaiza yondoa. Those are the, only the spiritual mountains that we are told that we can remove. But I'm, I'm, I'm told, I, 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 I'm, I'm not from Nyeri, but I'm told. Mimi siwa Nyeri, lakini niambiwa. That when they were working on the road from Marwa to, uh, to Kiganjo. Wakati walikuwa na karabati njia kutoka Marwa mpaka Kiganjo. That there was like a small kahil somewhere. I can't even remember where it was. But they say. And there is an old lady who went to church. And the preacher preached about that. That you can speak to your mountain. And they say, you mountain, be removed. And she went home. And there was a mountain there, a kahil. It was not productive. It was not productive. But she went there and pointed at it. You mountain, you. I command you to go. And she went to church. And every day she would speak about that mountain. She said, I have spoken to it and it has to go. It did not go yesterday but it will have to go. A couple of years the road was to be made through there. And that hill that looked like it has nothing, when the engineer looked at it, it had the best maram that they were looking for. So they bought the kahil and cleared it for her. 
It doesn't matter how long it takes. God will come through for you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So it is here, it is written. What can we do with this scripture? Can we remove it? We cannot remove it. So I invite you to go with the journey with me. So that we can hear what Jesus is saying. What is he saying? Blessed be the name of the Lord. What is he saying? Mark 11 verse 22. What is he saying? Have faith in God, Jesus answered. You see, the disciples have marveled. The tree that you cast is dried up. So Jesus is answering them. And he is telling them, have faith. Faith in God. Three words. Have faith in God. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Three words. Have faith in God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because having faith in God, it becomes revolutionary for us when we know who God is. Because when you know who God is, when you know who he is, what he can do, who God is, your life changes forever. When you figure who God is, when you know him, and you don't deny him and you have faith in him, nothing Nothing else can make sense into you. Because God is either God or he's not. Either God is God or he is not God. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Either God is God or he is not God. Either God is or he isn't. And then if he is, then that changes the equation. If he is, that woman around Keganjo kept on talking about the heel and God who is, finally came and helped her. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The voice from the burning bush told Moses to tell the people that I am has sent you. Exodus 3 and verse 14. What does that mean? It only means the more explanation that the Lord tells Moses. I am that I am. Which points that God's eternal self-existence. If you know that God is. And that he is the great I am. Then you have known the greatest fundamental truth in the whole universe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Who God is. Psalms 81 and verse 10. Psalms 81, 10. There is a powerful invitation that the Lord gives us. He is inviting us as his children. He says this, open wide your mouth and I will feel it. Say hello to your neighbor again. Did you tell them that they have a good mouth? Oh, if you did, that's wonderful. Now the Lord looks at us. He says, you, you could be a useless. You could be a nobody. You could be a nothing. Open your mouth. I will feel it. Sasa kufungua mdomo ni mbaya. Is it bad to open your mouth? The problem is what you have just read. If you open your mouth, 
house, house, house flies will, will get inside and people will say you're confused. But you see, God is saying, uh, open your say, mouth, I will feel it. it. In other words, ask what you will by opening your mouth and I will do it. Why am I saying this? Because there is a telephone direct number. Jeremiah 33 verse 3. Call. Open your mouth and Call. Call unto me. And I will answer you. Who will answer me? God will answer me. Why? God wants to help me. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I will tell you great and mighty things which you do not know. Open your mouth and I will feel it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You see, every time we have prayer, like now we have the 40 days of prayer. I know we Maombi ni mzuri. Mwambie jirani yako Maombi, Maombi. I know that prayers are Where good. Where Maombi? Prayers are good. Omba. Pray. Lakini <coughs> shida ya Maombi, but the problem with the prayers ni kwa sababu wakati mwingine is because sometimes kama wewe ni mugikuyu, if you are a kikuyu, unataka kuomba ukiwa gaifafa. You want to pray saying Jehovah, <laughs> Jehovah. Gai wa Israeli. <laughs> And if you're an English man, you want to pray if in you, English, the King James. Ah, uh, wewe kama ni Mwingereza nataka kusoma. Ukisema thou, thy. You want even to tell God sorry because the, the language did not work well. Unataka kumwambia Mungu samahani kwa sababu lugha haikuwa nzuri. Pardon me God. Pardon me. Pardon me. I say, it is not the details and the language that I use. See, I, I hope you can understand this because if you don't understand this, then. You, you will say, Bishop, attack it to I want you to pray. But I want you to pray in the spirit. Please, don't let your mind confuse you. What, what vocabulary in English that God does not understand? Which one? Which one? Okay. If you speak, if you speak uh, with the wrong language, he has no problem. Gaifafa. <laughs> Gaifafa. <Israel. laughs> no. Hasha, hasha. He is either God or not God at all. But for prayer, pray big. Pray big. Actually, pray and surprise yourself. Pray. Pray big. Tell him what you want. Open your mouth. Let him feel you. Let him feel you with the powerful words that you can utter to him. If you want to honor God, we will believe then what he says. And we will act on what he says by praying prayers that relate to him. Praise the name of the Lord. Look at your neighbor. Hebu my neighbor. Kufanya? What is it that God cannot do? Tu. Si what is si it? Umambie, Just nini tell nini me. Just tell me. Is it buying for you an aeroplane or car? A dress, a pair of shoes? Is it a marriage or children? 
Mwimbaji mmoja wa kikuyu hata kama simpendi sana. Is one kikuyu singer even though I don't like him so much. Na msiende kumwambia. Don't go and tell him please. Kwa sababu anaanza ka kiroho alafu anaenda nyimbo zingine za ajabu. Because he starts in the spirit and then goes off. Yeye huimba hivi. He sings like this. Hiyo gari nzuri ninaona ikienda pale. That good vehicle that you see being driven Hata there. Hata mimi ningependa miwe na yangu kama hiyo niwe nikiedesha like na feel mine. good kama huyo jamaa. Even me I would like to have I one like feel that. good like that person. Anaitwa Ben. He's called Ben. <laughs> Nikiwa kijana when I was Kama a young kuku, man, if there was something that uh, really pleased me, Peterson, kuku pale jivaji, it is that. Na wameweka kwa display. It is that chicken that used to be a dance. Na ilikuwa na mwindi. Ni mwindi alikuwa kiuza hapa za mali hiyo miaka yangu. Those days it was a mwindi who used to display. Kana mafuta pole pole. It would just a roll, swing. Yaani kana zunguka akiangusha mafuta pole pole. It would be dripping oil. Sasa nikipita pale na ikaangalia tu. So every time I pass there I'll just look. Nikuwa nikisema Mungu utakaponibariki. And I would say God when you will bless me. Hii kuku na chips. This chicken and chips. Itanitambua. They will know me. Aliponibariki. And when he blessed me. Nikuwa naenda hapo kuirarua tu. I just used to go there to just Apo tu hapo tu kuirarua tu. I'll go there to tear it. Si kuku kubwa nikakuta na chips. Just a small pizza quarter and chips. But God gave me quarter and chips. Lakini Mungu alinipatia robo and chips. I'm saying may the desires of your heart come to pass. May the Lord because he wants to help me. Samoyo yako ikaweze kusikia. Then I will have faith in him. Kwa sababu Mungu anataka kunisaidia nitakuwa na imani ndani yake. Unajua watu wa, wa western kuku ni uh, kitu ya maana. People from western uh, 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 wengine wananiangalia kwa sababu wanashindwa kuku ni nini. Uh, Hao ni watu ya mbuzi. Hao ni watu ya Mount Kenya. Uh, people from mbuzi Kenya ndio wanasema umemtia kitu ya love, maana. Lakini hiyo kuku wewe huijui. But that chicken ilikuwa inadondoka. It used to drip mafuta. <laughs> hey na kikopeje and kikope, kikope. how is kikope wacha kikope sasa ikikope siku ile the kikope of those days oh. not the one of today hata wako wakisimamisha watu kuwaonyesha waingie tulikuwa tunaingia bila kusimamishwa sasa wanasimamisha kwa watu people used to go without being ushered in kwa sababu because ukiteremka tu ukimaliza tu hata kama harufu haijaanza kuingia kwa gari unaisikia before you would sense the aroma even before you move from your car nayo nilikuwa i was looking forward and i used to look tunaenda na kurulini nilikuwa natazamia nitaenda so that we can go through kikope uh, uh, ndio nikaweza kupitia pale kikope god also caused my desires to come to pass mungu aliweza kutimiza sisi mamagi shauku ya moyo wangu hata sisikiagi these days i don't stop hata i don't even sisi sisi mamagi. even when they stop me i don't go there hiyo kuku inadondoka siendi that kwanza uh, niliambiwa na Elizabeth ni chunge mafuta hiyo inadondoka I was even told, told by Elizabeth to be very careful about that oil that ku, sitaki kutumia tissue zangu kutoa mafuta ili niweze kukura hako kakuku I don't want to use my tissue to stop to remove that oil but, but God God wants to help me lakini mungu anataka kunisaidia blessed be the name of Jinala the Lord. Lord. i hope you are understanding up to that point what am i saying i'm saying this if we are praying for rain we should fill the church with umbrellas you know when england was suffering some famine at a, at a particular time wakati uingereza ilikuwa na ukame the church stood to pray kanisa likasimama kuomba uh, kuombea mvua and they were praying for rain for quite a while na walikuwa naombea mvua kwa muda mfulani this particular day siku hii fulani one sister came with an umbrella dada mmoja akaja na mwamvuli she walked with an umbrella akaingia kanisani na mwamvuli and everybody saw her na kila mmoja akamuona they almost laughed at her peng uh, karibu amchekelee yani they are praying for rain wanaomea mvua 
But they are laughing for someone who wants to protect themselves from rain. The pastor was even wondering, why did you come with an umbrella? But the lady said, we are praying for rain. When they were still in the service, the cloud gathered, there was thunderstorm, and it rained heavily. She was the only lady who walked home without being rained on. I want you to be that lady that in your prayer what you pray for you also believe it and behave like so in the name of the Lord you carry an umbrella in a prayer meeting where people are praying for rain blessed be the name of the Lord if you are hearing what I am saying say hi to your neighbor give him a high five tell them God wants to help you God wants to help you. God wants to help you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is what faith does. Faith brings an umbrella in a prayer meeting where we are praying for rain. The other day I asked people, how many people want to travel the world? You want to travel the world. You want to go to South Africa. You want to go to China. You want to go to, 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 to Europe. You want... Let me see how many people want to travel. Amen. Among the people that want to travel, and your hand was up, how many people are praying for God to give them a passport? You are not ready yet to go. Get the passport ready. Actually, you're not understanding this. I hope you can understand it. Two people went to look for an employment. And in the employment, they were looking for someone to send outside, outside the nation. So in the interview, they were asked, whoever has a passport gets the job. One who had the best qualification had no passport. The one who had not very powerful qualification had a passport. He smiled all the way. Oh, may God help those that are prepared. And you can only prepare by having a passport. So that when that time comes, and Bishop wants to go to Tanzania, Bishop wants to go to Zambia, you can join him and let's travel together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Passport iwe tayari. What faith is, it is to bring a passport in a meeting where people are talking about international travels. We are going slowly. We are moving slowly. I feel that you are coming closer to me. I tell you the truth. That's what Jesus says in Mark 11, 23. I tell you the truth. Who is saying that? It is our Savior. I am telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea. It is God who is saying. And he's saying, I'm telling you the truth. I, I think what God is trying to tell you is that what I tell you is the truth and nothing but the truth. He says, this is true. If you have faith, this is true. You can tell this mountain, be thou removed. And if you don't doubt in your heart, it will be done for them. So here it is clear. Jesus is trying to tell the people, this mountain standing before us, or perhaps Mount Olives, a literal mountain, and the disciples are traveled around there. And this particular mountain, he says, 
might be cast into the sea. Peter, can you do this? John, can you do this? And they are saying they cannot because they have no power. But I have some good news for you. What is impossible with the Peter? What is impossible with the John? It is possible for our God. Because nothing is impossible. Please help me preach to your neighbor. Ask them again. Neighbor, what is it that God cannot do? Did they tell you anything or they just asked you and looked? In Mark 11, 20 and 21, in those two verses, Jesus is talking to them. They were so amazed. It's like, so, you are amazed at what I did to the fig tree? Jesus tells them, what I did to the fig tree, I can do. I can do. For any mountain you face, if you have faith in me. That's what, that's what that scripture is trying to tell us. That God is trying to tell us that he can do for us. He can help us. Any mountain we face, if we have faith in God, if we know God is. So the point is, do I know God is? Do I know that he says he wants to help me? But there are two things that I think the disciples, for them to cast the mountain into the sea, there were two conditions. And I want to say there are two conditions for you also. Condition number one for the disciples, they had to speak to the mountain. Condition number two, they had to have faith in God and not doubt in their heart. And I think that is the hardest part of our, of our walk with God. We tell ourselves, this is spiritual. It is not physical mountain. But the Lord is telling us, even this physical mountain, physical obstacle, I can. I can speak to it. And if I have faith, it will be removed. If I don't, I don't doubt. doubt. So I want to submit to you our biggest challenge. We have allowed that habit to take charge over us. For example, there are some of us, every time we open the gadget, the gadget, maybe even now, you are on the Facebook. It's only that you don't want to go to TikTok. But there is something that you have seen and you want to go to TikTok. That is a mountain. And you need to face it. Huh? If you hold your phone like this, God honors those who dare to say out loud what they are asking God to do. When I was little, and we, you know, our parents, our parents, may God bless our parents. But the parents but of today, you treat your children like eggs. We treat our children You treat your children like eggs. We were treated well. I tell you. I, I say. Kemani kuja, and I'm three years. You come, Kemani, and go to the shop. 
Enda kwa duka. By the following. Ukanunua ma- vitu hivi. Chumbi, maguta, sukari, you know, buy those Chumbi, things. Chumbi, sukari na vitu nyingi. So I asked mom, what do you want me to buy? Nilikuwa nauliza mamangu nataka ninunue nini? Salt, sugar, Chumbi, flour. Chumbi, sukari. Oil. Mafuta. And again, the other thing is, all shopkeepers were born again. Na wale wa wenye duka walikuwa wameokoka. They were not thieves. Hawakuwawezi. They were very good. Walikuwa wazuri sana. So I would run there. Ningekimbia pale. Singing a song. Nikikimba wimbo. With my one shilling. Ah, na shilingi yangu moja. And I would drop it at the counter. Ningeweka pale kwa mwenye duka. And then I would tell the guy shube shukari maguta. Namwambia chumvi sukari mafuta. He decides what portion goes to sukari what goes ana, portion goes to this what portion goes to this what portion goes and then he gives me a candy ana tathmini ni nini itaenda kwa sukari kwa chumvi na hata ananipatia supplementary now for me to remember that kwa mi, kwangu mimi kukumbuka yale i have yale. to go singing ningeenda nikii so that i will not forget ndio nisiweze kusahau I'm talking to people here. There is a mountain for you. You have to speak to it not once. Keep on speaking. Ukilala? When you're sleeping? Ukiamuka. When you wake up? Ukiingia kwa gari? When you're getting on to the road? matatu. When you are in a matatu? Tangaza Mungu atanisaidia. Just declare God will help. Usiogope watasema ninisema tu Mungu atanisaidia. Just say God will help. Watu wa matatu watashangaa lakini utasema Mungu atanisaidia. But you just say God will help me. You know kuna kawimbo ninasikiza ka Kiswahili kazuri sana. There is a song that Kiswahili song that I've been listening to a very nice one. Kuna jamaa aliguzwa na Yesu akafuguka macho. There is somebody who was touched by Jesus and uh, the eyes opened. Anaulizwa na watu. And he is asked. Aliye kuponya unamjua? The one who healed you do you know him? Anasema simjui lakini. He says I don't yani know him. Yaani hataki wamumalizie. Yeye anaingia upesa simjui lakini macho yanaona. My eyes can see. Hiyo ndio ushuhuda. Simujui lakini macho yanaona. My, my eyes can see that's the testimony. Why do I sit and argue with the people? Why? God is going to help me. Mungu atanisaidia. Period. Kush. They don't need to know how. how I but I'll keep on saying it. Let your children know that God is going to help you. Let them know that you depend on God for help. Because God will help you. Blessed be the name of Jina the Lord. Sometimes when you when you are just about to preach. Is when time wants you to finish. But I want to say to you. My brother, my sister. The mountain before you. Don't be embarrassed to talk about it. Speak to it. Speak to it. Speak to it. Speak to it. You know, some of us, the mountain we have. It really uh, certificate ulifanya form 2, form 4, yo, It's a certificate that you did form 2, form 4, form 6. And it has really tied you down. Kasirika. Get annoyed. Talk to it. Uyambie wewe karatasi. And tell it you paper. Wewe. You paper. Wewe karatasi hautanifunga. You certificate tena. you not but you not keep me down again. Can you imagine umebarikiwa na watoto? You have been blessed with children. Lakini kuna kadhambi kamoja ulifanya kitambo. There is one thing you did a long time ago. Eh? Sasa ile watoto wameanza ku And when the children are kadhambi kanakuja kanakwambia goja. And the sin comes and tells you wait wait. We are waiting for you. Huku huku huku. <laughs> Say I'm going to deal with you mountain. I, uh, you just pambana na mlima. I'm going to deal with you. Pambana na huo mlima. Because my past is past. Shughulikia huo mlima kwa sababu kale. And the blood of Jesus has cleansed me. Na damu ya Yesu I'm going to deal with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We have mountains of difficulty in our lives. Sometimes the mountain is great lacks. Great lacks. 
But we can speak to those lacks. Maybe even personal strength. Maybe in our relationship the mountain is so huge. Habits of sin. Maybe it's the health, your health or your loved ones. Oh, your marriage is failing. Whatever mountain that is, speak to it in the name of the Lord. Speak to it. Trust God and speak to it. One major part of seeing the mountain move in our life is having courage to speak. I have a friend of mine. Every time we greeted each other, he's not a kikuyu. But he had gotten a very powerful word. We we'll greet each other and we say, I'm not cockroach. But I think that is good. Can you imagine? He greets me. I have not called him cockroach. But he tells me, Pastor, I am not cockroach. True, I am not. And I will not be. So if there are people who are calling me cockroaches, that mountain, I deal with it. Yeah. There are people who have called you many names. Those mountains address them and say, I am not until God elevates you. In, in that verse, verse Mark 11, verse 24. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it. And it will be yours. There are three parts in that sentence. The first one is comprehensive. Comprehensive. Whatever you ask, kira kitu. Whatever you will ask for, everything you ask for. Whatever you ask. Wow. I can ask for the moon. I can be extravagant. I can declare that I'm going to be Dr. Faith. And you become. I know some of you want to be, but you don't want to do what Faith did to become. You know, that, I also understand that. Eh? But I'm going to pay the cost. Number two, it is conditional. Be, believe that you have received it. So, whatever things I ask for, whatever it is, number two, I believe that I receive it. And then finally, there is, it is also definite. It will be yours. See it too. Now, that's why I like church. That's why I like church. We can all come here and hear a powerful sermon. Ask for the moon. And a few go to ask for the moon. But a few become so spiritual. I just want the moon to just light my heart. <laughs> that one is also spiritual. But, but me, when I heard that word, I told God, enough is enough with Kahazukari. I ask for the moon. And a few of us here ask for the moon and God gave it to them. There are some that are still here wondering whether that was true. I am also telling you there are some of you this year will end and I'm telling you God wants to help you but you will not receive his help because you are not speaking to the mountain it is comprehensive there is a condition and it is definite 
na ni kuna hakikisho in the same verse katika mstari huo there are three tenses kuna uh, mambo matatu ya mit, uh, matendo there is present kuna ile ya there hali, is past kuna ile ya and there is pita, future na kuna ile ya wakati in the same one. so in other words kusema ma hata hii. kama haitafanyika leo even if it doesn't happen today, this this verse is very powerful ah uh, mstari uko na nguvu sana hallelujah now listen There is a past there is a present kuna, there is a past there is a future kuna kale, kuna sahi, kuna, uh, He says this for the present kwa whatever kwa you ask chochote when do you ask now sahi, sahi. whatever you asking now chochote so there is that sahi, sahi. hey sahi sahi i like that swahili translation sahi sahi wow the present uh, whatever you ask for chochote utaitisha there is the past kuna yale ya kale. He says you have received them. Anasema ushapokea. You believe you have received them. Uamini ya kwamba ushapokea. All of them. Yale yote. You have received them. Vitu vyote ambavyo umeitisha ushapokea. And there is a future. Na kuna usoni. It will be yours. Itakuwa yako. Therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer now believe that you have received it because it's already come kwa sababu ishakuja and it will be yours na kitakuwa chako kile kile present wakati past sasa hivi and future na sasa but the thing is lakini kuna jambo speak to it nenea mlima hallelujah we wacha kuwa muungwana Don't be what a quite a manoki. Uh, let them call you whatever they But call you. Talk about it. Uh, Hallelujah. So sometimes when we pray, we have a promise of a specific blessing. When we may the, well, then we may also pray with confidence. But often we pray not knowing what God is going to do. And how he's going to do. And when he's going to do. But I know he is. I also know he wants to help me. So I'll have confidence in him. In light of this teaching that Jesus is teaching. Kulingana na haya mafundisho ya Yesu Kristo. We draw five things. Kuna mambo matano ambayo tunaweza jifundisha. Very very quickly. Kwa haraka sana. We pray that tunaomba ya kwamba First of all, jambo la kwanza we have to pray for something ni lazima, definite. Ni lazima tuombe kitu fulani. Wacha hii maombi ya kiududho. Just leave stop praying this general prayer. Bless me. Bless me. Nibariki. Bless me. Nibariki. Hiyo wachana nayo. Just stop praying that general prayer. How do I pray bless you? Yeah. Tell God what it is. Aambia Mungu kile kitu unataka. Na uache Uache. Uache ku behave kama kemani mimi. Stop being like kemani. Tulipo miaka yetu ukifika Ford ulikuwa unanunuliwa rangi. Uh, when you went to class 4 that's when you would receive that ink na kalamu ya kuandika ilikuwa youth and there was that pen called youth class 4 wacha sasa wanaanza kama pema class 4 these days they start very quickly when you rangi ili watu wajue tumeingia class 4 we used to apply ink on our clothes so that people would know we were in class 4 <coughs> Nilipoingia class 4 nikapigwa na mwalimu kwa sikuwa nayo. When I went to class 4 I was beaten by the teacher because I didn't have that ink. Nikaenda kwa Mr. Francis Mungai. I went my father. <laughs> I went to my father. Pastor. I went to my father the late pastor. And I introduced myself. Na nikajitabulisha kwake. I'm in class 4 now. Ya kwamba mimi nimefika darasa la And we are writing very well. Na tunaandika vizuri sana. Especially when you write with ink. Kwanza ukiandika na kalamu ya wino it very well. ilikuwa inaandika vizuri it sana na ilikuwa haifutiki and francis said yes i know na mchungaji akasema ni kweli but he never gave me it lakini hakunipatia hiyo kalamu so i was beaten nilichapwa sana again nikachapwa tena i was punished for a whole week nikaweza kuadhibiwa wiki mzima And every time I'll tell Mr. Francis how writing is good. I thought he will interpret it. Nilikuwa na tumaini kwamba nikiambia baba yangu ataweza kuelewa. But he did not interpret. Lakini hakuweza. He just had what I said. Hakuweza ku Then I went through a lady called Elizabeth Nyambura. Lakini nikapitia kwenye 
Mama, may she live to be a hundred years. Mama yangu. <laughs> she told me. Akaniambia. Go tell him. Enda umwambie. Just tell him you need a pen. Enda umwambie nataka kalamu na wino. So this time I went to Pastor Francis. Nikaenda kwa mchungaji. And I said dad. Nikamwambia baba. You know when you're in class 4 you need ink Ukiyo. and a pen. Nikiwa darasa la 4 nahitaji kalamu na wino. He just pulled it from his wardrobe. Akatoa tu pale kwenye diron. And gave it. Akanipea. I might not have it. Pengine siko na hicho. But in the closet of God. Lakini katika kwenye kabati ya Mungu. He has what I need. Ana kile nahitaji. I might not know. Naweza kosa kujua. But he knows I need it tomorrow. Lakini anajua mimi nahitaji. So he has it in his closet. Kwa hivyo ako nayo katika kabati ya. What I need is to ask it. Kile nahitaji ni kumuuliza. Siku mwambia unajua Mungu mtu akibarikiwa na kagari anakuwa hapana. Ninataka kagari. Kwa kijumla. Ni sema ni gari. Kwa sababu ni kazuri. Just tell God that a gag kai. Na wale mnatakaga gari na hamna driving. Hata sijui tena why do you want it? Those who have who want cars and you don't have a driving license. Si afadhali hata uwe nayo. Nina unaweza nibeba siku moja. Yaani uniambie bishop siwache nikubebe tu. Yaani kidogo ujienjoy. Lakini kama hauna hata hiyo muombe unaomba ya kuendesha gari. Labda that's why it has taken too long. Even if you don't So I pray that tomorrow or the next week Wende ukafanya driving uwe na driving lessons. Kwa kuendesha gari ukue na kile Kwa hivyo kuna vitu viwili nimesema passport na driving. Ah uh, cheti cha kusafiria na cheti cha kuendesha gari. Mambo mawili. Na kutakuwa zingine. And there will be others. So be definite. Ukawe useme ni kitu gani hasa. Nataka kuoleka. I want oleka. to be married. Be married. Nataka mtoto. I want a child. Be specific. Uh, sema kwa uhakika na uhalisi. Number two. Cha pili. Say it loud. Sema kwa sauti. Mpaka usikie na shetani asikie. Sema kwa sauti mpaka until you hear it and Satan hear it. Hear Have it. you ever wondered watoto wa nasari na na pre unit vile wanaongeaga na sauti na na yuko mdogo tu pale. Sema ticha 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 ticha. Teacher, I know. Have you ever wondered why small the Nazarene school kids speak so loudly? Because they want to hear even what they are saying. Hiyo kizungu ameitamka namna gani? Kwa sababu hata wao wanataka kusikia wameitamka namna gani? I pray that you will hiyo mountain yako speak aloud. I naomba kwamba ukanenea huo mlima yako kwa sauti. Wacha kusema kimoyo moyo. Don't just whisper. Nobody will know it until you say it. Number 3. Don't question God's ability. No he is. No he wants to help you. Settle it down. If he has said it, he will do it. Number four, persevere in prayer. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Persevere in prayer. Keep on pushing. Wacha kuongea kizungu mingi. Don't speak a lot of English. Mwambie, anajua. Just tell God he knows. Tell him, tell him. Tell him. Wacha kumwambia mtu akiishi kahawa sukari, sijui kitakuwa na amani, kuna lami, kuna nini. Ah, 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 ah. Don't tell God. Just tell God I need a plot in kawa sukari. Yeah. What is the problem with that? Ama umwambie. Or just tell him. Hii zimamani yetu. This zimaman. Tukumbuke na lami. Remember us with the mara. Kabro. We prayed and we got kabro. Yeah. I hope you are understanding what I'm saying. Na tumai tunaelewa. Yes. Ask it. Uliza Don't question the ability to Uliza pray. Usi, and, Uliza and, pray. and finally, Alamwisho. be a person who waits on God. Kuwa mtu ambaye unamngojea Bwana. I don't know whether I said this here. Sijui kama nilisema hili. I don't know, but I, let me say it. I've had said in the beginning I can say it again. Kama nilikuwa nimesema nitasema tena. <clears throat> When we started church here Wakati tulianza kanisa hapa There were no many people here Hakukuwa na watu wengi katika area So my members came from Mweki there were a few houses in Mweki Wengine washiriki walikuwa wametoka Mweki wengine 
Gedurai had house here, house there, so I had to Gedurai some members na nyumba kadhaa. Gedurai. Zimamani kutoka. was scattered. You would see the church, the small church from everywhere. Zimamani ungeona kanisa kutoka pande zote. Kwa barabara ile, kwa huku, yani kalikuwa kitu mabati. Pande zote kanisa ilikuwa inaonekana. There was a lady in the church. Kulikuwa na mama mmoja katika kanisa. Her husband had gone to UK to study. Ah, yule mwanake alikuwa ameenda UK kusoma. And the the wife and the son, they had a son. Walikuwa na kijana. Money was not forthcoming. Pesa haikuwa inakuja kwao. And she was in prayer. Na alikuwa katika maombi. That God ya kwamba Mungu should remember her. Akaweza kumkumbuka. She was in Gedurai. <coughs> alikuwa anaishi Gedurai. And the Lord told her. Na Mungu akamwambia hivi. Go to Uchumi supermarket. Enda kule duka kuu la uchumi. Oh, I'm sorry. Kulikuwa na supermarket iliitwa Uchumi. Kulikuwa na duka kuu ilikuwa inaitwa Uchumi. Kuna mtu aliniambia you assume everybody knows there was in Akuma. Hapana. <laughs> Kulikuwa na supermarket iliitwa Uchumi. There was a supermarket it was called the Uchumi. Best. It was it was the biggest. Bora, sana, na it came sana. before Nakuma. Ilikuja kabla ya Tuskies na Nakuma na zingine. So the lady was told to go to na- to to Uchumi. Akaambiwa na Mungu aende pale duka kula uchumi. She asked the Lord which one? Akauliza Mungu ni duka kula gani? Aga Khan walk. Ile ya Aga Khan pale town. She went. Akaenda pale. First of all she sat outside. Akakaa pale nje kwanza. In her thought she thought somebody will come there and give her money. Alikuwa anafikiria kuna mtu atakuja pale ampe pesa. But nobody did. Lakini hakuna mtu alikuja kumpatia. The voice told her. Um, sauti kama hiyo. ndani. Uh, go inside. Chukua trolley ile kubwa. Ile, uh, take that biggest Weka trolley. Weka mizigo ndani yake. Put whatever you want. So she went inside. Akaingia ndani. Not knowing what will happen. Hakuwa anajua kutatendeka kipi. Akaweka tuunga tu tuwili. Uh, she put two uh, packets of money. Akaenda sauti na mwambia jaza. Uh, she heard a voice telling her feel. Now this is a true testimony. Who should our queen? This is a uh, who should our queen? Mimi ndio nilikuwa pastor wake. Mimi ndio nilikuwa mchungaji wake. Akarudi tena. She went back there. Akajaza. She filled it. Sasa alipojaza. When she filled it. Shida yake ilikuwa atatokea wapi? The, the problem was how she Kwa hivyo anakuja. She would come. Ana hapa anazunguka tena kwenda kujaza tena. Then she would go round again to feel more. Ana tena anakuja. Then she would come. Akifika anarudi. Akasikia sauti inamwambia kwenda kwa kwa kashia namba 4. She had a voice telling her to kwa kashia namba 4. Kashia namba 4. Akasukuma kwa kashia namba 4. She pushed her trolley to the cashier. Her heart is still beating. Ah uh, moyo wake ulikuwa bado unapiga kwa sababu kashia namba 4 akaanza ah uh, the, 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 the cashier started counting before <coughs> before half of the things were counted kukatokea jamaa moja somebody came akasema haya ninawanga nia i've been looking for you said ah uh, nimekuwa nikikutafuta mama nani Where have you 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 have been lost? Umekuwa wapi? Umepotea sana. Then she was given an envelope. Ah, uh, kapatiwa bahasha. Inside there was money. Ndani yake kulikuwa na pesa. But it was just enough for what was on the trolley. Ilikuwa imetosha tu kwa kulipia vile vitu vilikuwa katika ndani ya trolley. What am I saying? Nasema nini? Hapa. May God help me. Mungu anisaidie to believe him nikaweze kumwamini know him kumjua he is not trying to embarrass me hataki kuni afanya ni aibike leo sitakuombea today i'm not going to pray for Wambie you jirani yako bishop akuombe leo tell your neighbor to bishop is not praying for you today lakini leo but nataka uaibike today. today i want you to get embarrassed Mmenyamaza vizuri kuaibika eh mnashindwa mtaaibika na mna gani <coughs> Greet your neighbor tell them neighbor Say hi to your neighbor tell them I know you have a mountain Najua uko na mlima Maybe more than one eh Pengine zaidi ya moja So I want you to stand Nataka ukasimame Leo 
Nataka wewe ujiombe. You are the one to pray for yourself. Utangazie huo mlima wako. And uh, speak to your mountain. If it is a financial mountain, uiambie wewe. Kama ni mlima wa kiuchumi utangazie. Go. Sasa kama kuna mtu atakusikia, ujue yeye hakujiombea. If there is somebody who will listen to hear you they yeah. know that they were not because praying. Because unanisikiza kwa nini? So why would you listen to si me? Yako. Just mention your mountain. Ama unataka nikisema na usema oh ugoiga. Ugoiga what? Just say Wachana naye. Just say leave them yourself. alone. Just say it. Your... I have my own mountain. Niko na mlima wangu mimi mwenyewe. Hebu sema hivi niko na mlima wangu. Sema mimi niko na mlima wangu. Niko na mlima wangu. Mimi niko na mlima wangu. Lazima utatii. It has to obey. At the count of 3. Nikihesabu mara tatu. Uwe na hasira ya kutosha. I want you to Iyo have mulima. enough anger. With that mountain. Ukisikia yangu ujue yako. Ukusema kitu. Ulikuwa una Kio. And there will be a lot of things here. Okay. Kama mambo mengi yanakusikiza za watu hapa utashangaa. Kuna watu wanataka milioni 500, yeah, wengine wanataka sijui nini, wengine gari, nyumba, watoto, kuolewa nini. Sasa utakuwa utachanganyikiwa. Kwa hivyo sema yako. Just say your own. Hallelujah. Just say your own. Some of you you want to travel, some of you you want to get into colleges, some of you you want healing, some of you want a door to open. You know what you need. Wengine tunataka milango ifunguke watoto kusafiri. You need to speak it out. Lazima ukanene. Because I said my closet might be empty. Uh, but the closet, the closet of God. Lakini kabati ya Mungu has what I need. Iko na kila kitu nataka. Amen. Amen. One, two, Goja kidogo. Nimeona amuko Wait a bit. Nataka ushout hiyo shida yako hiyo. Usi usi don't whisper. Shout at it. And I want to hear you saying in Jesus name because that is now the name is that is above all the names. Eh? So you mention it and in Jesus name hiyo. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. So one, two, three. Hey, my million in Jesus name. Amen. Mwambie jirani yako so it is done. You can rest in peace. Ukaanza kuwa na amani. May God bless you. Bwana wabariki. Amen.